The last time I took up Boxer Mad's Alpha Jet, I was shocked by the high alpha performance. Already I knew that it was a nice stable flyer, pretty fast for the Microjet version 3 that's in it. And um, the uh, tumbles and rolls are spectacular. The other thing is the high alpha performance, which I want to concentrate on. I was shocked by the, almost to the point where you can hover this plane and it's effortless. It's stable and effortless. So I'm going to pursue that a little bit um, by changing batteries, center of gravity and things like that over the next couple of flights. I've uh, done a paint scheme on the plane. This is my uh, Star Wars snow speeder uh, paint scheme. I always like those color combinations and it'll give me some good contrast where I can actually see what's up and down. Spectacular tumbles. All right, I'm pushing a little bit hard to try to get the definite limit to high alpha. All right. At that point right there, I've got center of gravity right about here. Um, that looks like it's about three and a half inches in front of the prop. Just to get a good idea of how the battery uh, position affects center of gravity, I moved it an inch forward. Might be a little bit too much, but if necessary, I'll pull it back. Oop. So that's the limit of high alpha. Plane is very strong. All right, I'm going to pull the center of gravity back just a tad. I've got the 2200 battery in here. Uh, 1800 was low on juice. And uh, center of gravity, same place. Really must secure the hatch. Wide open. I think uh, definitely the bi-wing design is creating a lot of lift and uh, lift that you don't even need so there's a lot in reserve for the larger batteries. It's amazing how you can just pivot the plane. It's like a pirouette with only elevons and the nose stays up. You know, it's, it's possible that you don't need a rudder. I mean, I'm talking, putting a rudder on here, but I don't know. Why, why use an extra servo? So as you see, uh, very little modulation of the throttle. And it's mainly just up elevator and using the elevons to steer it around. I've gotten used to rudders. In fact, I'm using the rudder stick subconsciously, just grabbing it. And uh, for people who don't use rudders, this plane allows you to do 
great uh, maneuvers in high alpha without a rudder. Well, as you can see, I wasn't dreaming. It's no fluke. The plane is spectacular at high alpha. Uh, ironically, this plane was the easiest plane I've ever built. Um, it took me three hours to cut the foam and assemble it. I was able to reproduce the great high alpha like I did the other day. The 2200 battery actually stabilized the plane a little bit. I kept the center of gravity. I'll take a measurement of the center of gravity to find out where I've got it now. Uh, but even with the 2200 battery, it actually made it more stable. So spectacular performance. And it's no, like I said, no fluke. Uh, it's actually been endorsed by the Tatami Police Department. The police chief that just came by to check up on me uh, said it's one of the nicest planes he's ever seen. So it's great. All around a winner. I didn't get kicked out of my airfield either. <laughs>